Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to export in full resolution all your photos and videos, okay, from your photos app. Now this is the latest photos app, okay, so right here it's version 1.5, okay. So in order to export them at full resolution, what we have to do is go up here, okay. So first of all, select all the photos and videos that you guys want to. Um, so what you guys could do is just select one by one, or just press Command A to select them all. And that's what I'm gonna do. Press Command A and select them all. From there, I'm gonna go up here where it says File, Export, Export. Okay, you guys can choose this or Unmodified Original. Okay, so what I'm gonna choose is this, and I'm gonna show you why. So you should get this message, and just make sure. Okay, for those of you who want, for example, the highest and good resolution, obviously choose maximum. Choose, um, well here it's up to you, if you guys want a bigger file size, um, this is how regular, and this one is more compressed, okay, this is standard JPEG. And sRGB, that's the color resolution, full size, that's what most of you want, which is the largest size possible. And for your videos, even if you don't have 4K videos, just in case you took one or two that are 4K, just select this. Okay, if they're not 4K, they will be exported as 1080, so it's not a problem putting 4K. Um, at this point, you guys just have to click on export, and from there, you guys can choose where to export to. So I'm gonna choose my desktop, and I'm just gonna create a new folder. It's gonna be called Photos, uh, and whatever day today is which is, let's see, what day is it today? Today is September 16, so September 16, 2016. So if you guys are looking at this later, don't worry, you might have the same version as me as photos. Okay, um, let's just put create and then export. Okay, so at this point, what we should see up here, okay, so again, just in the top left corner, what you guys will see is this and right here we got we can see how many photos are exporting okay now I know a lot of you will see that nothing really happens but this will take longer for some of you uh, and shorter for some others it just depends on how many videos you guys have uh, the photos themselves they should they should technically transfer pretty fast but videos will take longer um, by the way for those of you who have um, cameras and I are using Photos app to import your videos and photos from your DSLR camera or any camera that you have that's not an iPhone, iPad, or Touch. I do not recommend using Photos app. That's because Photos app is actually kind of slow. So if you guys take really good videos with your camera, don't import it this way. Use whatever software that comes with your camera. For example, if you have a Canon camera, you can download free software for it on canon.ca okay they will have the latest I know with some cameras you get a CD and they're not up to date and all that stuff but you can always go to the website okay and download the latest software from there you guys can just import using that software don't use photos app just because it's as you can see it's kind of slow and um, it will take some time to export all your photos so to avoid all that hassle just use that other software um, if you have an iPhone, iPad, Apple Touch, like I said, then use Photos app. It's kind of the best one to import stuff with, okay? Unless you have it jailbroken, then you guys can do other stuff. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.